Amid their budding romance, the pop superstar and Chief's tight end were photographed in New York City on Saturday night. Welcome back to New York, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. On Saturday, the pop superstar, 33, and Kansas City Chiefs tight end, 34, were photographed holding hands while heading to a Saturday night live after party and as they left the post-show bash in New York City. The budding couple made separate surprise appearances on SNL the same evening. Kelsey made a cameo at the end of a sketch parodying the NFL frenzy over their romance, while Swift introduced musical guest Ice Spice's second performance during the show. Earlier in the evening, Swift and Kelsey had a dinner date at Nobu in New York City ahead of the show. After celebrating the release of her new concert film on Wednesday at a celebrity-packed premiere in Los Angeles, Swift headed to Kansas City the next day to cheer on Kelsey as his team faced the Denver Broncos at Arrowhead Stadium. Two hours before kickoff, Swift was spotted walking through the stadium's locker room club sporting a red Chiefs jacket atop a black top and skirt. She also rocked a gold necklace, black boots, and a ponytail. During a pregame interview that aired on Prime Video, Kelsey vaguely noted he enjoys the chaos of his life right now, saying, I embrace it. He also explained that he's learned to compartmentalize and shut off when he's on the field. Swift's appearance at Kelsey's game on Thursday marked the third time in two and a half weeks that the star has supported the two-time Super Bowl champ at his games. During this week's game, Swift once again reunited with Kelsey's mother Donna Kelsey, as well as Brittany Mahomes, the wife of Kelsey's teammate and close friend Patrick Mahomes. Swift and Brittany were captured laughing and hugging in a suite at Arrowhead Stadium as they watched their respective bows play the Broncos. Earlier this month, Swift and her pals including Brittany, Sophie Turner and Blake Lively enjoyed dinner at Emilio's Bolado in New York City the night before the Chiefs faced off against the New York Jets.